this is a uh, short overview of my uh, B vacuum or B vac. I have two five gallon buckets. The first one, I cut the bottom off of the bucket and then I put a, uh, it's called a bucket head, but this is a vacuum from Home Depot that attaches straight onto the, onto a five gallon bucket. And that's all that's, that this is, is on the top, is just a, uh, this creates the suction head. On the uh, power side, I have this, uh, it's essentially a rheostat, but you can use this to adjust the current going to the bucket head, and that in turn adjusts how much suction is, is being put through the system. Um, and through a little bit of trial and error and going around the barn here and sucking up wasps, um, I've determined uh, at what setting on this is, is a good one to pull the bees in, but not so strong that it splatters them, because uh, you know you don't want to do that. Um, this can run either straight off an extension cord like I have it now, or when I'm out in the field, I have a battery with a uh, inverter to plug in and I can use this all remote. The second bucket, I have cut holes all the way around the bottom of the bucket and there's screen in there. Um, and that's to provide ventilation, number one, so when you have a swarm that you've caught it, it gets a lot of air. But the other thing is, is I turn that bucket upside down and then I place the bucket head on top and if you push down far enough it will cover those holes and that causes a suction to go from the bucket head through those holes into this bottom catch bucket. And then what I have here is Put my hose in through a honey gate, snaps into place, and then I can use this for setup uh, as a bee vacuum.